Hi, I'm Christy Conway with Charleston Home and Design Magazine, and I'm here at the August Custom Home and Remodel Show with Mac Macintosh of NextGen. Now, Mac, how has it been for you? Uh, it's been pretty good. A uh, good number of people coming through and some serious inquiries, I think. <laughs> well, it's good to hear. So, um, as NextGen, you know, what are you offering here at the show? Well, we are a full-service low-voltage contractor, which means that we do everything from structured wiring to security systems, home automation, home theater, distributed video and audio, uh, basically any low-voltage amenity that you would find in the home. All right, so uh, what do we have behind us here? This looks like some sort of, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a home. It basically gives you your home on the screen. Um, okay and anything that's available in the room that you might be in or in any room throughout the house. You can adjust lighting, um, security system, uh, your, your thermostat, and also adjust uh, audio components and video components. Okay, and that runs through all the televisions or do you have you know, remotes on your phone or how does that work? Yes, both. Actually, um, it, it, it can do either. You can pull it up on screen. Of course, it can work through your iPad. Um, we also have a, an in-wall version of the controller. Um, so your phones, iPhone, Droid, a uh, variety of interfaces. And they all basically work the same and look the same. So once you get familiar with the interface, it's uh, the same on all platforms. Okay, so if you were at the office and you wanted to turn on the lights in your home, could you do, still do that on your phone? As long as you have an internet connection, you have connectivity to your house. Well, that's neat. Okay. So um, if you wanted to install it into the wall, um, would you say that what would you need to be doing? Could you do that in an older home or just new homes? Yeah, it's actually, depending on exactly what you want done, uh, retrofit versus, um, you know, doing it, it's always easier when you do it beforehand. But retrofit, there's a lot of opportunity for it, just depending on the accessibility, be it attic spaces, crawl spaces, um, the availability to get wire there, uh, what's actually able to be done. And a lot of it does communicate wirelessly, so retrofit is, is pretty feasible. So I'm in a 1983 home, so you think that I could set up a system just like this? Yes, absolutely. And of course there would be, like I said, some limitations, and we always like to do a, a you know, look at the site, and give give some options and then of course you know the price varies too depending on how difficult it is to get the wire to where you need it maybe what you want to do so you mentioned structured wiring can you explain what that means well basically that's just the backbone of the house it's a fancy word for phone and cable and data it's it's your cat5 it's your rg6 it's it's the backbone that makes your TVs your your uh, hardware computers um, now with the smart TVs, the ability to have those hooked up hardwire so that you don't have uh, extre extremely long buffering times. Um, just, just really the backbone, the network of the house, if you will. Now, what, when did they start to install that? That doesn't seem like a too recent thing. If, if your house has that in it, you can pretty much hook up anything around the house, right? Yeah, Cat5 is an, or, or even Cat6 now is an amazing wire. We can we can do video distribution, audio distribution, uh, just about anything now uh, over that wire. And they've been installing that for years, right? Well, yeah, it's been spec, well, you know, Daniel Island in particular, they had a, a spec as far back as um, about nine years ago uh, to, to spec it into the homes, all new homes being built. So it's, a, it's not a new thing. So Pretty much anything that's been built within the past, you know, 10 years or so usually has some form of hardwire network. So. so that also means that you could probably hardwire, a, you know, internet connection and, you know, a media room or something like that? Yeah, okay. Exactly, exactly. I think I get it now. <laughs> okay, well, so if someone would want to learn more about uh, any of these topics that we talked about, do you have a website? Yes, we do. It's uh, nextgenusa.com, and uh, we're on Facebook and uh, Twitter. So. I would hope so, since you're a tech company. <laughs> Do you have a phone number? I, I, I'm the most basic yeah. form of contact? You know, it's always the last thing I think of. 871-8531. And we're located in Somerville, so we're local. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for meeting with me. All right. Thanks.